So now we're going to make a stamp with our super clear uh, 2.55 image pack. Um, I'm going to uh, just turn my light on to warm the bulbs up. I'm going to open my clamp. I've got my negative, which is nice and black, to stop the light. And I'm going to put the sachet on the negative so that we can read the word image pack. Then I know I've got it the right way up. So just close the clamp and I'm going to use these clips just to press down and make sure it's fully closed. So you don't know if, if it's closed already, you don't need to use these, but <laughs> mine's just broken. <laughs> um, it's been used a lot. Okay, so I'm going to put the clamp under the light for 15 seconds on this side. And the light now is going through the whole of the sachet and it's going to make the floor or the base of my stamp. Take it out and I'm going to put it back in for two minutes on the other side. Now, this side, the light is only going through the clear part of the negative to make the relief of the stamp. This is why it's important that the negative is black so that it stops light where we don't want it. So while that's doing, I'm just preparing a few things to um, open the sachet and wash it afterwards. So I've got um, a little bit of water in my post-exposure tray. I'm actually going to use a knife to open the sachet rather than scissors. And I'll explain why when, uh, when, when I do that. But you, you can do either. Um, I've also got some uh, washing up liquid, a brush, and I've got a bowl of water to wash my stamp. So where it said image pack, that's how it was in the clamp. So I'm going to cut it on the other side. Now, the reason I'm using a knife is I, I can cut um, just inside the seal. And it's going to give me just something to hold on to while I'm washing the stamp. Because this is image pack, um, the, it, it doesn't have a substrate because we want our stamps to have a sticky back and stick onto an acrylic block. So I'm just gonna peel off the film on the top there and you can see our stamp inside. Just get rid of that. Now we have to wash away the liquid that's left. So I've got some water here, warm water, some washing up liquid and a brush and we're just going to brush that away. So you do want your water to be a little bit warm for best results. It's hard to wash because the polymer is quite sticky. It's hard to wash it in, in cold water. So with some designs like this, this heart, you can be quite rough, but obviously if you've got fine text, then you're going to have to be quite gentle. So we just want to wash away all our polymer. Now, I did 15 seconds and 2 minutes um, for, for this. Um, the polymer is quite reactive. 
Um, so you may have to adjust the times a little depending on the designs that you have. So if you have designs that have a lot of clear area on them, like the heart that we had, the light will go through faster, so you may need to reduce your times. And if you have very detailed text, you may need to increase them a little bit to hold the detail. So, so this is um, advice on the times as a kind of average, if you want. So ideally, I'd now take that to the sink and just give it a rinse in, in clean water. Still a little bit dirty. Okay. But there's my, my stamps. And then I'm going to put these, I say I'll drink all these, these bubbles off really. Um, and then I'm going to put that in the water. And it's going to go back under the light for two minutes to harden. And for the two minutes I can use the timer on the light by just pushing it to the back where it says timer and pressing the red button for start timer. If it's still a bit too sticky when uh, it comes out after the two minutes you can pop it back in for another two or three minutes um, and that will uh, take some of the stickiness away. And that's it. When, you've, uh, when you take it out we'll be ready to cut the stamps, dry them. Okay, so We'll just take it out of the water and dry it off. So normally I just wait for these to dry, but then we just trim. So you can either trim, um, if you've got one big stamp, just trim the edges off. Um, I'm just going to take out this one so you can Obviously cut around these close to the edge if you want to. Um, okay, I've just got a, a big block here, but that will be okay. So, and then we can just peel the back off. And this is sticky, will stick to our acrylic block. Still a little wet. I'm using Versafine ink just because it's the ink that, that we prefer. So I'm just going to ink up our design, trying to get ink on my acrylic block, <laughs> and stamp it up. There we go.